Hello friends, do you remember in the comparison video that I did between the Junior Deluxe and the Hoover Starlight? I had a red Starlight here which was kind of like in pieces which I took apart to show you the insides. Um, I was going to throw that machine out um, or like strip it, for, strip it for parts and just put the rest of it in the bin. Um, and I'd actually done that and it was literally hanging over the the bin outside. I was going to put it in um, and then something just said to me, don't bin this because it's a red one that you don't have. So I somehow, not quite sure how, managed to restore that cleaner and now I can show it to you. <laughs> it's not the best red starlight I've ever seen there are a couple of issues with it having said that though it runs really well I'm really pleased with how good the motor sounds and it's nice to have the red one in the it in the fleet of cleaners I mean it's very much like that 638 that I showed you it's, um, it's kind of like a placeholder machine until a nicer one turns up uh, which hopefully one will do at some point. The, the trouble is with the Starlight, um, they're starting to become quite valuable now. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't chuck it in the bin. They go for quite a decent amount of money. Now that um, orangey yellow JDL that I sold recently, I think it went for £84 on eBay. And that wasn't the best example of one of those that I've ever seen. Um, the furniture guard had started to wear, um, the lower cord hook was missing. So, you know, I mean, a machine that's not in tip-top shape still sells for 84 quid, which is, you know, that's a, a, a decent amount of money. So that is pretty much why I restored this Starlight, and it's here now to show you. So there it is. It hasn't come up too badly. It was really filthy. When I showed it to you for the first time in that uh, comparison video, it was absolutely covered in filth. And I, I kind of thought it wasn't going to turn out quite as good as it actually has done. Unfortunately, the, the, pa the panels, the body is quite badly faded. It doesn't immediately show up on camera, but if I do this and you look here at this point, you can see where the motor hood has faded to this horrible yellow colour, but the rest of it, which is hidden, is not too bad. I, I can actually bring this back. If I retrobrite these body sections, um, which won't be until next summer now, because God knows I'm not going to see any sun for about six months, then yeah, you know, it, it, it can be done. Unfortunately, this cleaver does not have either of its cord hooks. So it doesn't have the top one and it doesn't have the lower one either. Um, it's very common to not have the lower one, but um, not having the top one is, is yeah, un unusual. And you can see there, that's quite a good example of um, how the machine's faded. So it's been stored obviously for many, many years and the flex has, um, has, been, has been stored, like wrapped around here. And you can see these sections where you have um, Faded plastic, not quite so faded, faded, not quite so faded, and faded. So the flex actually protected the back section here, this this plastic, um, from the fading process. It's very odd, this. I never really understood how that happens. Some people say the machines fade because they're left out in the sun. Um, but how would you, you know, how would this entire machine be in the sun? It just doesn't make sense. People don't store their vacuum cleaners in the sun. They're stored in understairs cupboards, or when people are finished with them, they get thrown in attics or sheds or garages. They aren't just left outside in the sun. It just, you know, it doesn't happen. But anyway, there we go. It's one of, one of life's little mysteries. So to compensate for the lack of top cable hook. I've actually attached this very long screw here and I was going to drill into the body to attach this screw and I thought to myself actually no don't do that there's a better way of doing it and I've drilled into the handle 
inside this hole. So the handle runs all the way down to here. This is the screw to hold the handle in place. So I drilled into the metal of the handle and put the screw in there. So when a upper cord hook turns up, which it may do at some point, not very likely, I can take this screw out and pop it on. But it means I still have a place to hang the flex. So, you know, it stores. It's brilliant. Um, I'm not sure what else to tell you about this. It's interesting, to, let's look at the serial number. Yeah, this one, God, that's early. <clears throat> this is uh, January 1975, so it is a very early one. I can never recall if Starlight went on sale in 74 or 75. I have a feeling it went on sale in 75. So this is a very early one, if, if that's true. Um, if you know, tell me, comment, please. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Oh, other thing, you know I said to you in the comparison video, the bag full lamps never work, they never do. And despite my best efforts on this one, again, it does not work. When you look through this gap here, I believe you can see that, yes you can, um, you can actually see the piece of metal that goes over the dirt finder lamp that moves back and forth which is driven by the bellows that sits here. When you block the bag throat when the machine's running you can see this piece of metal trying to move, it tries to move downwards and it, it gets so far and then stops and I, I just can't get it to work. I think if I spent an hour or so on it, hour fiddling about with the bellows and the metal and bending it back into place and maybe making the hole wider in the fan casing. I might be able to get it working, but do you know what? It's just not worth it. The, the amount of fat and hassle. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I'm not gonna repeat myself here again, but this was this was just this was not Hoover at their finest. Well the whole vacuum cleaner is not Hoover at their finest. Um but yeah, there we go. So it's been saved and I'm really glad I saved it. I, you know, it was, honestly, it was so close. It was hovering over the bin. I could see the bin out there, hovering over it. And there's just something that said to me, no, don't bin it. Just try, try and save it because you don't have the red one. I've got the blue one upstairs. If you don't have the red one, you may as well keep it. Because I was going to keep the red panel and chuck everything else out so if a blue one turned up I could change the front panel um, if a red one turned up then I had spares for it but I thought no no keep it keep it because you know it's what is it now 40 45 years old god that's amazing to think that this is 45 years old and it works which is really shocking and it actually and it works quite well I'm quite surprised sometimes these can sound horrendous I've covered this pre previously in the numerous videos about these cleaners but this one sounds absolutely perfect it sounds spot on which is so rare so yeah definitely worth keeping um what do you guys think do you do you think i was right to keep it do you think i was right to spend the time and effort in restoring it to this point um i'm always interested to know your uh, thoughts and feelings so I guess what we should do now is um, take it into the lounge and give it a run. I'm not going to do a huge um, multi-sectioned um, video of this machine in use because you've seen them previously on the channel, you've seen the JDLs, you've seen the blue starlight. So, you know, once you've seen one starlight, you've seen all the starlights. But I think it, it, would, it would be nice to just to give this cleaner its moment in the sun or not in the sun because it will fade more but it's moment in front of the camera so you can see it working and you can you can hear how how great it it sounds so i'll shut up now um let's go into the lounge let's give the cleaner a run don't forget to do the usual the comment subscribe and like um it really helps me out and i can't tell you how much i appreciate it as well i never thought this channel would get to the point where I've got 1,435 1, sub subscribers, um, <clears throat> which is just amazing. It's me waffling about vacuum cleaners. Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly cannot thank you enough. Um, the reason why 
I started this channel was to basically record a, a history of the vacuum cleaners that I own. That was the point of it. It was never to like, you know, be sat here talking to you, talking about cleaners, you know, to have 1,435 people tuning in or actually liking what I do. That was never the point. Um, it was it was so that as long as YouTube exists, as long as those videos are there, long after I'm gone from this, this planet, my vacuum cleaners will remain. There's a history of them. So yeah, it's really quite touching. So I thank you. Um, okay, that's enough. Waffling, over, stop. See you in the next video. Take care.